Having an empty workspace open it, you can see its name under the project tab. The workspace name has an icon showing a folder tree structure because below the workspace you can have multiple projects and multiple simulations per project in a single workspace. The structure below the workspace is named domain, characterized by a geographical region that is covered through a digital surface model, and also a type of numerical model to be used and the physical path on the disk where files are stored. Each domain can have multiple simulations. Normally, users need to use OpenFlow's flood building tools to create the digital surface model before creating the domain. To learn these tools that cover the DSM creation, such as Grid Data Creator, see exclusive videos for this tool. To create a new domain, select the Project menu bar and click on Domain New. It will open the dialog box for domain creation that asks you to enter a name, the file path to store the files, and this needs to be an empty folder, the numerical model to be used, the digital terrain or digital surface model that covers the region. This dialog box also has options to create a domain connected to another existing one and to use an external numerical model. Regarding the numerical models, we have three, option, three options. Mohid Land, Mohid Water, and Urban Flood Simulator. Mohid Water is a 3D numerical model to simulate surface water bodies, like oceans, estuaries, and reservoirs. Mohid Land is a physically based, specially distributed, continuous, variable time step model for the water and property cycles in inland waters and man mediums. The Uber Flood Simulator is a 2D model that can be coupled with a 1D hydraulic model, save it on the format of Swim or Bentley Silver Gems or Silver Storm. After entering all the information, you will see the domain created under the workspace tree structure. Note that domain icons will defer accordingly to its numerical model. Next, see the video that covers the simulation creation to learn the last procedure before running calculations. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.